All right, I'm circling back to this battery here. I had a commenter say that this battery could maintain a 40 amp load. So, that person should get an answer. So what I'm going to do, I've got this hooked up through this shunt. I'm going to be able to monitor the amperage on this. And I'm going to pull as much as I can pull through this small 12 volt inverter with this 500 watt light. All right, hunt 13.2 volts from the battery. So let's see what this battery can handle. If it can handle a sustained 40 amp load or even a burst. I pulled 36 amps and the voltage has sagged from 13.2 to 11. On the inverter, it's reading 10.1. As you see, the light is on. I'm only pulling 418 watts. <clears throat> this didn't even reach 40 amps before this battery started to sag. And this didn't even take more than two minutes to do. However, it is maintaining 36.4, but at an extremely sagged 11.4 volts. This is at 10. So I'm going to let it run until it cuts off. Now this inverter is a thousand watts, so it has easily pulled this before. Let's see if there's anything else I can plug in to add some more. All right, in order to get another solid 50 watts out of this, I got my Ryobi battery charger here. Let's see what happens when I plug the battery in. The inverter is reading 9.6 volts. However, it is pulling a 42 amp. 40 amp. Oh, wait. It's dropping down. Dropping Wait. It is struggling. Wish I could mute that. That's highly annoying. Guys, we're just going to have to deal with that noise as long as I am.
11.2 volt at the battery. I'm kind of surprised that it's done this well. I got a new alarm, it sounds like. All right. On my multimeter, it's only reading 11.25. So that really, that large amperage sagged the battery quite a bit. Alright, so, turn that off because that's incredibly annoying. So, okay, the battery will pull. Oh, wow. We'll pull a 40, 40 amps. While that, while the battery was drawing 40 amps, It is 63 degrees in my workshop. The battery, the top of the battery is at 87 degrees Fahrenheit or 89. So that little four or five minute test heated this battery up probably inside there to about a hundred. While it can Pull 40 amps. I would not recommend you do it for a long duration of time. Probably melt these batteries. They are just tiny little 18650 style LifePo 4s in there. So, what you guys choose to do with these is yours. I use these for camping, not for a more than a hundred watt load to power my uh, 12 volt refrigerator it's handy if you, you want to use it for like a little things small UPS maybe I wouldn't do a big UPS um, just don't think that it's a uh, Very good for that. Um, now that I have it all unplugged, I'll do one last voltage test, test to see where the voltage lies. Uh, that is... Mm, That's odd. Hold on. It went back to 13.23 when not under load. I only pulled 2 amp, 2.5 amp hours out of it. Anyways, that concludes that. It can pull a 40 amp draw but it sags quite a bit which really doesn't make it helpful a sag just kind of makes your battery have to work that much harder thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and uh, share if you like it or if this can be useful to anybody